What's going on people of the internet? And today's video is on Daniel Kong. Right, we should all know who Daniel Kong is because who doesn't? Do you guys remember the fake pregnancy? The fake engagement? Oh god, let's not forget about her fake age. If you haven't watched the news recently, I'm ashamed. I'm gonna beat you up with these thin arms. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you know these arms are made for fighting, right? I could punch this wall and I'll be fine, alright? I'll be fine. See? You don't want to mess with me, right? You don't want to mess with me. If you didn't know, Danny Con's mother, Jennifer, paid for a hotel room for Mikey. Yes, it's a bit weird to be honest, it's a bit weird. Because his parents would be worrying sick about him. But it's Jennifer who's keeping him away from them? Isn't that some sort of uh, correlation to child grooming? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not sure. Thankfully, I have never spent money on a hotel room. One reason for that is my bank account is non-existent. <laughs> God damn it, Luke. You can't go down to Swansea anymore because you're broke as hell. Yeah, what are you supposed to do now, Luke? How are you supposed to pay for those strippers? How am I supposed to pay for those strippers now? This day and age, there are many things we can't get away with. And that includes fake marriage and fake pregnancy. Recently, Danny's father has taken to Facebook saying this. I have decided to set things straight about my daughter Danielle Conn. For years I have done the diplomatic thing while dealing with my daughter being online in a way I didn't approve of and trying to have it handled out of social media because I figured the system would work and keep my daughter safe. I would get small things out of the way first. I was never married to her mother Jennifer and Danielle is my only child with her. The only person I have ever married is my wife now, Heather. Danielle and Jen did live with me from birth till around 10. I allowed her to stay at my house despite not dating for 10 years, rent free, so we could both take care of Chad and Danielle. Recently, Danielle has been caught up in a bit of controversy. So I think I know what the hell is going on here. Danielle's mother recently moved out, right? So basically then, they would need some sort of income coming in. So this is what happens. Danielle starts his social media career posing in inappropriate outfits. Yes, very, very disgusting. I, I don't like it. I don't like it when girls do that. But anyway, this generates revenue. YouTube, social media, everything. So basically, this is what happens, right? They basically get Danielle to do acting, all the other type of stuff, dress up inappropriately, and yeah, then yeah, the people enjoy that. Don't know how, they, didn't, they enjoy it. Jennifer monitors Danny's accounts for all the social media, so she should have full control. But Not being horrible to Danny's father, but this tweet probably took you an hour to make, all right? It's a massive paragraph. Something I wouldn't even look through, all right? But, that hour you could have spent with talking to Danielle and her mother. So why on earth did you write this entire thing out on Facebook? Maybe you could have solved a few things out, actually. Danny lied about my inspiration, Elvis Presley, being near. I know it was fake, but where was my invite? I am so disappointed. I am actually on the verge of losing my temper because I wasn't invited. No one should agree with what Danny is doing, right? But there it must be some sort of bribery going on. Because this doesn't happen, right? Not many parents would let their daughters or sons go on social media and promote their bodies like that. Alright? Especially at a very, very young age when there's loads of weird people on social media. Now let's have a little research about Jennifer Connor, whatever her surname is now, alright? Right, I'm on Famous Birthdays. Okay, I am not actually on Famous Birthdays because I'm not famous. As seen there, Jennifer doesn't have a job. Her only job is looking after Danielle's social media accounts. So obviously she's gonna have a split of the revenue from Danielle. So she doesn't have to work a day in her life. Could this be a rumor that Jennifer is looking for a boy? All right, this could be a rumor, a young male. Let's talk about Danny and Mikey's relationship. So as we all know, their relationship has broken apart because Danny is 13 and Mikey is 17. 
Mikey should have had common sense not to date a 13 year old girl. Unless Danny lied about her age, then I completely understand. I had a dream like Mikey once and now is to be in a relationship. Only difference is I don't date 13 year old girls. I go for people older than me. Okay, it's not what you think. I don't, I don't date 83 year old women either. Okay? Yes, I get swipes on Tinder, but that's no excuse. It's actually a bit of Katie Tua's fault for letting her son take part in sexual activity with a 13 year old girl. Yes. Mikey, you have done a no-no. This is overboard. This is overboard. It's officially taken her a year to find out about Danielle's real age. And for us YouTubers, it's taken us six months. All right, all right, half of a year, half of a year to find out Danielle's real age. All right, that's not too bad going. That's not too bad going. It takes me officially one hour to get two matches on Tinder. So that's not great. Right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Please hit the like button. Subscribe if you want more content like this. Comment down below. Also, don't forget to turn your post notifications on to receive notifications of my videos in the future. If you don't, click on my notifications. I will be angry at all of you. Anyway, peace out. Stay awesome. Have a great day. And I shall see you in the next video. Stephen Knights.